One Extra Breakfast with Twin B and Yasmin Evans. And yet again, we are joined by the ever so gorgeous Ariana Grande. <laughs> Yay! We could give her the big intro. We could talk about being Grammy nominated, all yep. the chart positions, all that. But she's like a friend of the show. Yeah. And we're glad she's here. Hello and welcome. Oh, thank you. Thanks for coming back and chilling with us. Thank you for you having me. You probably don't even remember the last time you were here. I do, actually. Do you really? I do. Okay, good. I haven't oh, been here nice. too many times. Okay, true. So, yeah, I do remember. Okay, good. Um, now, first of all, I know Twin had just mentioned that Grammy, you know, and all that stuff. All that stuff. But I want to say I've never met someone who said, what's up to the president? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I was so nervous. I didn't know what to say. It was, you know, he's the <laughs> like, president. What's that? He's the president of the USA. I, I was about to sing in front of him and I, and he was like sitting two feet in front of me. Literally, it was such a small room. Yeah. And I was just like, um, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> what did he say no, back? Like, what did he say back? What did he, say he just started laughing and smiling. He was so <laughs> nice and wonderful. It was Man like cool. Obama, you know. <laughs> Amazing. Now, you've just finished your very first world tour. Yeah. Um, last night, obviously, as a presenter, knowing that you were going to come in, I was watching a few of the uh, videos on YouTube and I got really teary at one. Really, really teary. Yeah, I think it was like one of the last ones. And also when you... Uh, had, oh, the tour? Yeah. Oh, cool. And there was a little bit of a tear in your eye and I was like... Oh, yeah, I was always crying on tour. Well. It was an emotional experience, but it was great. What was like the, the one sort of word to describe that whole experience? Sum it up in one word. Surreal, I think. You know, it's my first tour like that yeah. and um, emotional. I, it was my first time traveling the world and getting to see my fans like that. And um, it was very surreal. Yeah. It's mad. I, I was um, emotional, at the O2. for real. Yeah. <laughs> I, I she didn't cried. cry. I, did, I was at the O2. I didn't cry. But I thoroughly <laughs> enjoyed it. A lot of production goes in. You fly at certain points. Like, yeah. Loads of stuff happens. It's yeah. like more physically demanding than people realize, right? Well, I mean, the flying didn't require much, obviously. You just, <laughs> I was you just, just like, think magical thoughts. Standing there, it was a nice yeah. break during the show. But yeah, <laughs> um, no, I think um, vocally it was very demanding. Um, it's a very vocal show, and I'm really happy that my voice remained healthy the whole time. I think that that means that I'm singing in a healthy placement and using correct technique, and that makes me really happy. That's good. That it um, did the whole test of the whole tour. Yeah, you did. Thanks. Go, girl. You go, girl. Yeah. It's very impressive to be there, man. Thanks. Uh, one thing I wanted to touch on, talking about being demanding and stuff, uh, a female in the public eye and someone as popular as you, a lot of pressure yeah. falls on you. But it takes like it seems like you take that on uh, when it comes to uh, the sexism row. Yes. And how, you know, women are perceived and whatnot. Uh -huh. um, a few things have happened recently. I mean, do you like, um, do you feel that pressure to react and respond? Do you feel it because you represent a lot of women and stuff like that? I think I feel the pressure to respond, not because I'm reacting to a personal attack, mm. but because I feel like I want to fight for everyone. It's like I want to speak out about things that I'm passionate about because it affects everyone. Mm -hmm. Because it's not like just whether, women. no, not just women, not just me, not just women, but men and everyone. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I, I feel like I need to speak out about the things that upset me and affect me because otherwise why do I have this voice it's like I'm not just an entertainer I, I well I don't want to just be an entertainer I want to make people feel something I want people to remember how I made them feel like they weren't alone and I want people to feel empowered and like they can get through things and whether I'm doing that through my music or through how I handle myself in certain situations that make me uncomfortable that's what I want to make people feel I want to make people feel yeah, strong. Well, we appreciate you standing Thanks. up for people like that. Um, it's important to be vocal about the things that definitely. make you uncomfortable. Yeah, 